We all know that having high cholesterol levels can lead to an increased risk of certain illnesses like heart disease, blood clots, and even an increased risk of having a premature heart attack or stroke. However, dietary cholesterol is also an essential precursor in testosterone production. And without it, any efforts to boost testosterone naturally are going to feel like a constant uphill battle. So how do you go about navigating these two opposing forces? That's exactly what I'm gonna talk about in this video. If you're new here, my name's Ben Richardson. I'm a personal trainer, a certified nutrition coach, and a chemical engineer. And for years, I suffered from poor health and low testosterone levels from being fat, lazy, and overweight. And it wasn't until I went through a pretty nasty breakup in college that I finally started to get a grip on my life. So I'm here to share what I've learned along the way with other men so that they can improve their health and increase testosterone naturally, just like I did. And I do post videos like this every single week, so make sure you go ahead and subscribe so that you're not missing out. All right, for those of you that just want to get into the juicy stuff and you don't care about how cholesterol works, why it's an important nutrient, why it can cause issues, and how it impacts testosterone production, I'm going to talk about that before I get into the actionable tips to balance cholesterol and boost testosterone naturally. Many men have taken the medical advice to keep their cholesterol levels low and have adopted various methods to cut cholesterol out of their diet. There is also this false belief that the body can produce all the cholesterol it needs for normal bodily functioning without the need to ingest cholesterol from foods. In fact, it is my opinion that dietary cholesterol is one of the most important nutrients that vegans and plant-based eaters miss out on because of their diets, which is why I do not advocate for a vegan or a plant-based diet to boost testosterone naturally. Eliminating cholesterol from your diet will severely limit the amount of testosterone that your body can produce. So the reality is that not eating enough cholesterol is just as bad as eating too much of it. Cholesterol is a vital building block in the testosterone production feedback loop. And you cannot function at your optimum testosterone potential without incorporating enough cholesterol into your diet. The body secretes hormones like LH and FSH in the pituitary gland, and these hormones travel through the bloodstream from the pituitary gland, which is located near your brain, all the way down to your balls. On their way down there, they collect cholesterol from the bloodstream to produce testosterone when they get down to the laid egg cells in your balls. So without enough cholesterol floating around in your blood, this whole process gets thrown out of whack. This can even result in reduced testosterone production, which ultimately leads to symptoms like low libido, poor physical performance, low energy levels, excessive fat gain, difficulty building muscle, brain fog, junk food cravings, and lack of confidence, just to name a few. Cholesterol is also essential for the absorption of vitamin D, which is also an important nutrient in maintaining healthy testosterone. This makes sense because cholesterol is also needed to absorb fat in general, and vitamin D is a fat-soluble vitamin. Cholesterol is also essential for bile production, which is an important aspect of digestive health, nutrient uptake, and metabolic regulation. It is also used for other things like cellular repair, cellular turnover, and cellular production within the body. So you can clearly see just how important it is to eat enough cholesterol, even aside from just boosting your testosterone levels. So in case you aren't aware, there there are two different types of cholesterol. There's high density lipoproteins, also known as HDL cholesterol, and low density lipoproteins, or LDL cholesterol. HDL is called good cholesterol because it cleans LDL cholesterol out of your blood, and LDL cholesterol is known as bad cholesterol. When your body doesn't need LDL cholesterol, it gets broken down by the liver so that it can be flushed out of the body. And this bad cholesterol only becomes harmful when there is too much of it. When your LDL cholesterol levels are too high for too long, it can accumulate inside blood vessels and arteries, which inhibits optimal blood flow. And this will result in depleted circulation and cause all the increased risks of some of those diseases and conditions I mentioned earlier. Suboptimal blood flow can also lead to cases of erectile dysfunction, and that's a condition no man wants to have to deal with. High cholesterol only becomes a problem when the body does not use it and it builds up. And anyone can get high cholesterol levels, and it can be caused by many different things, but what you want to do is focus on the things you can control, like your eating, training, and lifestyle 
lifestyle habits. So things like not smoking, working out regularly, and not eating too much bad trans fats, these can all help lower your risk. Maintaining your cholesterol levels through intense exercise is an excellent way of reducing your risk, and you should not be overlooking it. Strength training in particular is an excellent form of good positive stress. Intense weightlifting for about an hour provides an acute spike in cortisol levels, which helps the body use up more cholesterol and prevent the buildup of excess bad cholesterol. So sticking with three or four one-hour strength training sessions per week can be very beneficial to help balance your cholesterol levels and improve overall performance. Eating the right sort of foods can reduce bad cholesterol as well. The healthier fats consist mostly of high-quality saturated fats and monounsaturated fats from things like coconut oil, grass-fed butter, animal fats, olive oil, egg yolks, and avocados. If you're interested in more fat sources to boost testosterone naturally, check out the video I made on the best sources to increase testosterone. But these fats are some of the best ones to keep that harmful LDL cholesterol in the blood to a minimum. I recommend eating at least 80 grams of fat per day. This amount may vary depending on your height and your current weight, but it's a good general recommendation. And avocados are especially helpful to balance your cholesterol levels because they naturally help convert LDL into HDL cholesterol. Avocado is the richest source of plant sterol, which is why it effectively reduces LDL while increasing HDL. Whey protein taken as a supplement can also help lower cholesterols and blood pressure. Just don't buy some cheap trashy blend. The quality of the foods that you put into your body does matter, so don't neglect that if you opt for whey protein. Avoid heavily processed foods and sugary drinks like sodas. I'd also avoid using spreads or condiments like mayonnaise, margarine, peanut butter, or ranch because these fats contain highly processed seed, nut, and vegetable oils. Foods with high levels of bad fats are things like chocolate candies, packaged snack foods, fried foods, frozen pizzas, takeout pizzas, most baked goods like cakes, pies, and then processed meats like sausages, fatty burgers, hot dogs, fried chicken, and takeout foods. Your fiber intake can also help to reduce the absorption of bad cholesterol into your bloodstream. Just keep in mind that too much fiber can be a bad thing because it can cause digestive issues. A good range to aim for is no less than 10 grams of fiber per day from good clean whole foods and then no more than 25 grams per day. So what about cholesterol? How much cholesterol should you shoot for? This is kind of a difficult question because we are all different and have different nutritional requirements. Similar to my general fat intake recommendation, a general guideline is that a bigger guy will need more cholesterol than a smaller guy, and a more active guy will need more than a more idle guy. The recommended daily intake of cholesterol is 300 milligrams per day, but based on the fact that most mainstream nutritional advice is aligned with promoting a low cholesterol intake, this is probably not enough for most men. I suggest aiming for about 2,000 milligrams per day, but this is just a generic suggestion. You might need to find your own sweet spot for your personal requirements by considering your overall eating, training, and lifestyle habits. Now, it's probably a good idea to get some blood work done to determine your current levels before optimizing your cholesterol intake. This will give you a little more insight on how you should go about doing it and where you should begin so it can be a real time saver. Now, if you already have high cholesterol levels and you're worried that these recommendations I'm giving are going to make your heart stop pumping, a good strategy is to consume cholesterol from foods that are high in cholesterol but not so high in saturated fats. You do need some saturated fats in your diets, but excessive consumption of saturated fats can lead to higher levels of LDL cholesterol. Foods that are high in cholesterol but low in saturated fats include things like eggs, avocados, shellfish, liver, and most organ meat. These foods can be a great way of getting enough cholesterol into your diet without eating too much saturated fat. So if you're someone that has previously consumed a lot of processed foods, or you know that your LDL cholesterol levels are high, I would recommend that you start here. Drinking green tea also helps to lower LDL cholesterol and reduce total cholesterol levels. And then as a means of general advice, always consume cholesterol-rich foods from whole food sources like meats and dairy products.
works. I also highly, highly recommend that you use some kind of tracking platform such as Chronometer so that you can monitor your nutrition intake. Chronometer is a free and easy to use app. You can track your calories, your macronutrients, your saturated fats, your monounsaturated fats, and your dietary cholesterol. So take advantage of it. There's no monetary incentive for me to promote it. It has helped me a lot and I think it'll help you out too. You can also balance your cholesterol levels by inducing your body to consume more cholesterol. It might seem a little counterproductive to some, but a great way to do this is by stressing your body. Stress induces cortisol production and cortisol is made using cholesterol. High stress can harm hormone production as it can steal the ingredients needed to make hormones, but moderate stress can be highly effective in preventing an excessive cholesterol buildup. The best way of doing this is high intensity physical activity. This stresses the body and induces a cortisol spike, just remember not to overdo it. Excessive and prolonged stress does result in chronically elevated cortisol levels, which has a negative impact on testosterone levels. So what I do is consume a moderate to high amount of cholesterol. I balance my diet with fresh meats, wild caught fish, high quality dairy products, whole fruits and tuber vegetables. I aim to eat about four four to six eggs per day, sometimes more, and my main protein source include mostly high quality meats. And I usually eat more cholesterol with my evening meals because testosterone production occurs mostly at night while you're asleep. So I like to ensure that my blood has enough cholesterol to produce more testosterone as effectively as possible. So that's why I do this. Another thing to consider is that around 2 or 3 a.m. your cortisol levels do start to rise and this helps to contribute towards cholesterol consumption. Consequently, training first thing in the morning could be beneficial. I personally don't do this because I only have time to work out after work in the evenings, so it's definitely not required, but your cortisol levels are higher in the morning as soon as you wake up, so adding additional planned stress can help your body use up more cholesterol. So that's another good tip to follow if you already have high cholesterol levels and you're looking to balance those out. Anyways, later in the evening, I suggest winding down for the night to encourage good sleep. The goal is to reduce cortisol levels towards the end of the day. I'll usually meditate, read a book, relax, or maybe watch a little TV at the end of the day. And my meal in the evening also includes a moderate amount of carbs to help reduce cortisol. You don't have to follow this routine exactly, but it should give you some sort of template to work with so that you can experiment to see what works best for your lifestyle and your preferences. So when you do all these things simultaneously, it will help balance out your cholesterol levels and give your body everything it needs to boost testosterone naturally. Optimized cholesterol levels will significantly benefit your testosterone levels, so follow these guidelines and you'll feel like an absolute beast in no time. Now, if you're sitting there feeling overwhelmed, you know you need to get this under control, but you still don't feel like you have a solid game plan, then I want you to go down to the link below in the pinned comments and apply for my coaching program. I can help you replace all your bad habits with ones that will balance out your cholesterol levels so that you can increase your testosterone levels naturally. This should be your goal as a man, by the way, because you're going to have more energy, more confidence, more masculine drive, and even more success with women. Optimizing your testosterone levels is going to truly unlock that raw masculine vitality that's embedded in your DNA as a man. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, then go ahead and click the link below in the pinned comments and fill out the quick form. It only takes like one or two two minutes and I'll reach out to set up a quick Zoom call and we can chat about how I can help you out. So I hope to hear from you soon. But that's all for this video. If you liked it, make sure you go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And again, if you're new here and you've made it this far, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. Let me know what you thought about the video down in the comments below. I always love hearing from you guys and it really does help me make the kind of content that you want to see when I hear from you directly. So don't be shy. If you made it to the end, I appreciate the support and I hope you got a ton out of this video too. Good luck in all of your efforts to boost testosterone naturally. Thanks for watching everyone. Take care and I'll see you in the next video.